The only way to boost testosterone naturally is to live a healthy lifestyle. Hey, everybody, I thought I would chat with you guys and gals a little bit about this today. Um, and this is one of those things where you see so many scam products, so much nonsense from people to boost your testosterone, to do all these things, herbal supplements, various powders, pills. And the fact of the matter is none of this works. Um, and people always say, what about this one? There's some, some new compelling data. This happens every three or four years. There's always a new one. It never pans out. It never pans out. And even the sort of claims that they talk about, even if they did do them, wouldn't be enough to cause muscle growth or any of this. Um, so we need to be very, very clear on this. And I'm gonna discuss uh, you know, what lifestyle factors do affect testosterone. The only way to really boost test is with pharmaceutical substances. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing you can do, and that's not natural. So the only way to naturally boost testosterone, any significant amount, is to simply live a healthier lifestyle. That's the only biohack. And it's not because, oh, I ate a really high fat diet because that actually really doesn't work consistently. Because keeping in mind, your body doesn't have a lot of problem making cholesterol. Right? Even a healthy, ideal, perfect, healthy amount of cholesterol in the bloodstream is still more than enough to make all the hormones that we need. Okay? So that, that, that's nonsense. It's like your body isn't going to make more testosterone when it already has enough cholesterol in the bloodstream to make 100 times the amount you already produce. So adding more isn't going to fix that. Okay, That's not the situation. Uh, you know, So people worry about things like that. And, and the reality is uh, you know, the things that really matter are being physically active, not being obese. Now, people will point out that going down to extremely low body fats can contribute, but let's be realistic here. What, which one is more likely to happen? We know being morbidly obese lowers testosterone, right? We know that. There's no real debate on that. It's been shown, it's been seen, it's, it's considered to be the primary reason testosterone levels are going down in the West is purely due to our, our obesity level our body fat levels, okay? It's well documented, well understood, and we get to high body fats very easy in a heavy food environment. Very, very, very few people ever get low enough, lean enough to lower their testosterone. And those people tend to be contest level bodybuilders when they're dieting down contest lean. The perfect example, anyone who doesn't understand that, who's maybe new to some of this, all right, you see me in, in this, to the average person, I'm decently lean. I am not even remotely close, not even remotely close to the levels that we're talking about, okay? I would have to lose, from where I am here, probably 20 pounds of body fat or more before that even became a concern. So you guys see what I'm saying? You have to be contest level lean. I would have to, have to drop at least 20 more pounds. Some people who are real experts might chime in. Experts on bodybuilding might say, it might be probably more than that, dude. So I'm not trying to be delusional. I'm just explaining to the, to the average viewer who maybe who's newer to these topics. No, we're talking shredded, shredded. Like we're talking the guys when you can see the striations in their butt cheeks and their lower back. Okay? Right? When you can get that lean, not just having a full six-pack with veins to it. We're talking lean, lean, lean. Yes, when you get to that point, it happens. When you're anorexic, it can happen, right? That's what we're talking about with being too lean doing it. But if you're above that, it's honestly not a problem. Meaning if you're 10% body fat, and I'm actually above 10% here still. So again, just for reference, um, you know, so from that perspective, even at 10%, it's, you're probably not going to see any negatives to your, your hormone profile or testosterone. You're just not unless you starved yourself really fast to get there. And then it'll just be temporary, it'll come back. But that's only if you got there too fast and you probably sacrificed muscle, okay? So being too fat though, being too lean, I just do that in as a caveat because people do bring it up, but it's way, 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 way easier to be too fat and it's a million times more common, right? Maybe that's an exaggeration, maybe only 10,000 times more common. That probably wouldn't be an exaggeration. Um, yeah, that contributes. So don't be fat. Don't get absolutely shredded to the bone or emaciated. Okay, there you go. That's that's high on the list. That's the top of your list. After that, don't have any major dietary deficiencies. Make sure that you get plenty of vitamins and everything in your diet. Don't be deficient in anything. 
right? Particularly certain vitamins, things like vitamin D, uh, you know, some of the fat soluble vitamins tend to be a little more so on, of, a, of an issue there. Again, maybe just due to the lipid nature. So again, vitamin D has been noted as, as a deficiency that can contribute, but other vitamin deficiencies can as well, any nutritional deficiencies, okay? Uh, not getting your, your polyunsaturated fats, your essential fatty acids in, could, in theory, be an issue. Okay, so these are the concerns, dietary deficiencies, uh, maybe the lack of sunlight, okay? You're not getting any sunlight, so therefore the D3, but that can then be sort of eating foods with deep vitamin D3 in them or taking a D3 supplement. But again, we come over dietary deficiencies. But here's the thing, you're more likely to have dietary deficiencies if you're eating a junk food diet that's going to tend to make you fatter. You see where we're going with this? There's a lot of overlap, right? Exercise can help, but being said, but excessive exercise can actually lower it. But again, we're not only talking about marathon running level. We're not talking about from lifting weights for an hour a day. We're talking excessive, extreme. Can absolutely do it. But otherwise, being sedentary is far more likely to be an issue. So again, exercise. All right, so that's kind of the thing. We start looking at all these factors of how they pile up, and it seems like all the stuff that tends to make us fat also contributes. Being sedentary, eating too much junk food, too much highly refined foods that are low in quality nutrients. So a lot of what we're coming down to is low testosterone is purely a symptom of poor health, right? It is a symptom. So when everyone's looking for, hey, how do we, we, we cure it? What are we looking for? A single factor. When the reality is the lower testosterone is, is a response of either age, and again, getting really old isn't healthy, right? That is a negative health factor, getting really old, getting older, okay? Because we don't live forever and our bodies do break down over time. So age is a factor. Age is a factor. Poor nutrition is a factor. Being sedentary is a factor. Being obese is a factor. Well, three of those overlap each other. The age doesn't. The other two do. Okay? So if we know that being sedentary and being obese contribute, both do, well, you're double downing by not working out and then getting fat. Same thing on the, on the food end. Those are all overlapping factors. There's a lot of overlap. So the real solution here... How do you boost testosterone naturally? Just do your best to live a healthy lifestyle. Eat a reasonably balanced diet. Don't get too fat. Don't get too skinny. Okay? Exercise. Lift weights, do some walking, get some sunlight. There's your solution. That's it. Nothing else is going to work short of pharmaceuticals. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys and guys.